I have a very sophisticated RF power and SWR meter made by uh, Array Solutions. Unfortunately, it developed a, a fault recently and it takes a long, long time to get the uh, required part. So um, I looked for a quick fix on the internet and um, found a local website uh, with next day deliveries. And uh, I bought a small power meter, what I thought uh, would be an ideal temporarily so, um, a solution. And uh, this box arrived. It's the uh, Nissai TX101A uh, version. So um, it is um, 1.6 to 60 megahertz. It can handle uh, 20, 200 or 2 kilowatts, which is handy. And uh, has a nice uh, cross needle um, um, meter. I thought it's quite a small unit and they look quite flimsy if you look on, on a website or in, in a catalog until you get them actually and uh, let me show you why I made this video because I think loads of you saw this meter on the internet uh, looking at the price tag thinking oh my god why is it so expensive well let me show you I'm just unpacking it quickly um, I don't want to drop it that's the reason look at the size of this this is my head well okay you get that, that. And uh, this is the meter. It's a fairly substantial meter. Um, it doesn't fit into the palm of my hand. It's got a nice large um, cross needle uh, reading. Um, so you don't have to calibrate it for, for SWR anymore. One needle shows you the return power, the other one the forward power, and you just check out where they cross. And uh, you get a reading. Um, yeah, I recommend this meter. I used it temporarily and I'm selling it now. Um, but this is not why I made the video. I don't want to sell it to you. I just want to show you how large it is. So if you see it on the internet and on, on any website, um, it's a substantial meter. It's very, very large. It's got a uh, power, DC power input here as well as where my fat finger is. There's a, um, a DC power input. Um, and the whole meter lights up beautifully and evenly. Um, there's a, a one or two LEDs inside and the uh, illumination is incredible. So, um, yeah, totally underestimated meter, but well worth every single penny you spend on it. So um, go ahead and buy one if you can. You might as well buy this one if you find it on the Internet. Um, I'm very impressed with it and uh, highly recommend it, folks. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Um, the next video will be more, you know, detailed, I suppose. Subscribe, please. Bye.